Yo, what's up? So I thought it'd be really fun to do a spec advertisement photo shoot and take you guys along and show you guys the process of how I got these photos. We're gonna be taking these Adidas NMDs and trying to get some decent photos inside my garage. Now the challenge is, is how am I gonna use my dingy dark garage and uh, get some pretty decent photos of these shoots. For this photo shoot, I'm gonna be using the Sony a7 III with a 55 millimeter lens and a 85 millimeter lens. Using tighter focal lengths is gonna be extremely helpful for this particular photo shoot because since the focal length is so tight, we can actually hide a lot of the background that we have going on. Since for this particular situation, we're not shooting in the most glamorous uh, setting. In my case, it's just my garage. Also gonna be using this cheap little third dollar macro lens adapter that will basically convert any lens into a macro lens. So that way we can get up close and get those nice macro detailed shots without having to spend a thousand dollars on a brand new macro lens. This thing is pretty amazing. Now that we've established what kind of camera gear that we'll be using to pull this off, Let's, uh, let's start envisioning. Let's uh, find some sort of concept. How can we set up this shoe to make it look cool? Hmm. Let's make it levitate. I'm thinking that we can maybe make this shoe appear as though as that it's floating in midair. I found some fishing wire laying around in my garage and just weaved it through um, the shoelace holes. Now fishing wire is great because since it's so small, it's gonna be really easy to remove in the post process. Simple technique that really goes a long way. All right, so now that we have the shoe levitating part down, let's start thinking about lighting. How can we shape and color our frame with lighting? So I decided to take my key light, which was the Aperture 300D Mark II, and I placed it behind it, slightly at an angle, sort of giving it a nice top light while also slightly spilling into the front side, but not entirely, giving it some shadow and a bit of dimension to it. Next, I placed a Nanlite Pavo tube right under the shoe and I set it to a red hue. And this is just to give a nice edge light on the bottom of the shoe, helping it separate it from the background. And choosing red because the shoe actually has some red accents on it, so I thought that would complement it nicely. And also because I just really like red lighting. These Nanlite Pavo tubes are amazing. You have full RGB color spectrum, as well as tungsten and fluorescent. Definitely one of my favorite lighting purchases that I've made this year. Next, I placed another Nanlite Pavo tube towards the right of the shoe to basically just fill it in. But we're not done here yet. With the remaining two Nanlite Pavo tubes, I set them up in the background and basically used it as practical lights. And I set this to a tungsten setting to kind of give the background lighting a, a nice cold atmosphere. So far is looking pretty good. We have a well-lit shoe and some pretty interesting lights in the background. Now for the final cherry on top, we're gonna use a smoke machine to haze it up and give it some nice atmosphere and texture. And this works really well with the practical lights in the background because it actually lit up the smoke and uh, almost gave it like an entirely new background and feel. All right, so we got some pretty nice hero shots right there. I even did some long exposure photos that uh, was kind of just messing around, but I thought a few of them actually came out pretty cool. Now let's actually get into the macro shots. So like I mentioned before, I'm gonna be using this little $30 macro adapter that's basically gonna turn my 55 millimeter lens into a macro lens. So basically you just mount this on. And basically what this little adapter is doing is that it's basically giving a little bit of space uh, between the lens and the sensor and somehow enabling this lens to get closer to your subject and stay in focus. For the macro shoot, I used the Aperture 300D Mark II as sort of my fill light. When you're shooting macro photos or videos, typically you need to stop down to like F7 or like F11, which in return requires a ton of light to expose properly. So the Aperture 300D Mark II was sort of just like the top light that was 
filling it in and giving it some base light. Then I just used two Nanlite Papa tubes and placed them on the left and right side of the shoe and changed it to a red and blue hue. Red and blue because they're great contrasting colors and also the shoe itself has red and blue. I was pleasantly surprised with the macro shots that I got with this little macro adapter. I mean, it's not bad for 30 bucks and it's definitely a lot better than spending a thousand dollars for a real macro lens. The photos actually did come out a little soft, but I personally really like the soft look in lenses anyways, and you could always just sharpen it up in post. And with that done, I think we got some pretty decent product photos of the shoes inside my garage. I'd say one of the most important things that played a massive role in creating these images was definitely the lighting. Lighting is so important in photography and videography, I can't express it enough. I think it's what separates you from average to professional. I used to think that, you know, since my camera was so good in low light that I didn't even need to worry about good lighting, but that is absolutely not the case at all. There is just so much that you can do with lighting in terms of adding dimension, contrast, color, and depth within just lighting itself. So don't skip the basics. Lighting is very important in this, uh, in this craft. I'm still learning myself, and I think this, uh, this little spec advertisement was great practice for me, especially for product style shoots. I typically, I actually almost never shoot product photos, so uh, I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot. Not until you actually go and actually do it do you start to fully understand and learn how important some of these uh, techniques and skills are. So I hope this video inspires you to go create, whether that's in your garage, your living room, or even your bedroom. And you don't need to have your setup exactly as how I set it up. I do understand that some of the gear that I did use is on the expensive side, and maybe some of you guys don't have access to that. So I just wanna say there are so many other possible methods and setups that you can make. Even at a budget, it doesn't actually have to be exactly like mine. Maybe you can just take some references from my setup or lighting scenario and uh, implement it into your own style. For those of you who are actually interested in some of the gear that I did mention inside this video, I will leave a link down below in the description for you guys to check out. And in return, if you guys do pick up anything through those links, it really does support the channel, so thank you. Come find me on Instagram for more of my photography, and if you are inspired and decide to do your own photo advertisement spec ad, um, tag me in it, I would definitely love to see it. Do not forget to subscribe for more content like this, and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.